Here we are, here we are today. It's the first ever Mid-Michigan Band and Orchestra Day and we've got 280 high schoolers here from all over, from about 30 different zip codes across Mid-Michigan. We're having a day of workshops and master classes and rehearsals and then tonight at seven o'clock, this huge concert featuring all of these students after this long day. I mean, what could be better than this? And we're right here in Flint, Michigan. When Davin approached me about this project, um, the Mid-Michigan Band and Orchestra Day, uh, it sounded really, really exciting and it also sounded like it was going to be a lot of work, but I think it's turned out to be really great. My hope was that being in Midland and there's not any other orchestra programs very close by that the kids would get a chance to work next to and play with students from other schools that they otherwise would never get to meet. This whole program that's happening right now is actually awesome. I get to meet a lot of new people and have some fun. Well, I really like meeting all these new people because I look at them and I see what I could become if I practice and really work hard towards becoming a great cellist. The band students went into workshops about brass techniques. They learned about improvisation, um, practical practice techniques. I started off in a jazz improv improvisation workshop where he talked about different techniques and how to get over your fears of improvisation when you're just learning and how do you get through different problems that you might have. In my workshop that we did today, we learned about breathing and buzzing on our mouthpieces. And it really helped a lot because when you play a wind instrument, you really do need to learn more about breathing and those kind of things. The orchestra students had their very first run through of the 1812 Overture all together, 180 kids. It's fabulous, you know, going through this piece, I found like, I think Tchaikovsky wanted to hurt somebody when he wrote this piece. They're really being asked to step up and just give it their all and, and leave it out there on the stage and, and to make the best music that they're capable of making. So it's, it's a real challenge. With learning this piece, we learned a lot of cool tips from people who have played this piece professionally. It's been a real like eye-opener, seeing how all these great musicians are. Like I thought I was good, but these people are excellent, above average. What a lot of my kids have been saying when they come in is, oh my gosh, the people around us are so good. And that's great, because whether or not you realize you're learning, when you sit next to somebody who plays better than you do, you're definitely learning. But how many young musicians get to have great conductors from well-known university music programs? I have never performed with a group as big as this one, but today I'm actually a little nervous, but I'm also ready. Everybody from Paul Torrey to Davin Torrey to the Mount Foundation, everybody who works in this building and has given up their regular teaching time that they would do planning or other activities to make this event happen, you couldn't ask for more. <laughs>